Hey y'all, it's Garth. There's a uh, Weekend Warrior this week that's Phantom Constructed. You can build any deck you want, do whatever. Uh, just two event tickets to enter, and it's got the traditional yeah, Weekend Warrior prize payout. So I figured I'd do a bunch of different you know events today. And the first deck I'm going to be playing is a Conjurer Wigu deck. Now, Wigu is actually my least favorite card in all of Soulforge, <laughs> but a lot of people are playing the deck right now, so I figured uh, it'd be pretty good to like uh, try to teach people what the deck's about and kind of how the deck plays. Now, I've actually never played this deck as a bit of disclosure, but I've played against it like a ton, and I played a lot of Soulforge, so I don't think I'll have too much trouble playing it. But essentially, what the deck does, uh, it's not really a Wigu deck as much as a control deck that uses Wigu as a finisher. Uh, so you play Dusk Maws and Crypt Conjurers. These are your main big threats. Uh, Crypt Conjurer is whenever you cast an Ekrim spell, you get to drain your opponent's health, and you gain that much health. And so you use that in addition to spells like Epidemic and Immortal Echoes and Virex Embrace and Scythe of Chiron. These four Necrium spells to uh, keep your life total high and keep your opponent's threats very low. Uh, for instance, Epidemic and Virex Embrace both shrink your opponent's creatures, where, where uh, Scythe of Chiron shrinks it and makes Crypt Conjurer a big threat, like. It's got 8 toughness naturally, so putting a Scythe of Chiron that drains like 3 creatures power is going to give it plus 6 attack at rank 1, which is pumps it up to a 9-8, which is very strong at level 1, uh, player rank 1. And of course Immortal Echoes just keeps filling the boards, hopefully with Shard Plate Behemoths or Auruses, which are just decent, like decently large creatures. Uh, Shard Plate Behemoths is of course a 10-10 at rank 1 and goes up to like a 25 at rank 3. Usually you just keep it sort of below level as a 10-10, which is really solid for a level 1 creature. And a 15-15 is gravy. It's really hard to deal with, it with if they just keep bringing it back with Immortal Echoes. And Oros is just a, yeah, just kind of like a decent Fangwood Bear type of beater. It's a really good size. It ranks uh, 2 and 3 and 4. If you ever get to rank 4, the game's probably over by then. But at rank 2, it's a 10-10 with Breakthrough, which is very good. And if you, uh, the thing that makes Oros threatening is if you play it, your opponent actually has to deal with it. Because if they just ignore it for a turn and you play a Wigu, the Wigu will get plus 6 plus 6 because it gains attack and power, or attack and health for every point of life you gain. And Oros has lifelink, we'll call it. Uh, whenever it deals battle damage to a player, you gain that much life. So if Oros, like at level 2, hits them for 10, you gain 10 life. That actually just activates your level 1 Wigu, because Wigu's effectiveness doesn't really change that much per level. Like, it gets gigantic. It like, ranks 2 and 3, but it's harder to reach the threshold. So a level 1 Wigo is actually sufficient to kill them a lot of the times. Especially since if you leave Oros alive, they can actually, uh, or put a small blocker in front of it. They can, you can scythe the Oros to make it huge and shrink your guy so the, the creature blocking Oros is less likely to kill it and Oros does more damage to pump Wigu. Or, you know, you can play Wigu, Virex Embrace the creature in front of Oros and, you know, stuff like this. And I think the only card I haven't talked about is Duskmaw. It's just a really good, uh, general threat. Uh, puts, you know, Tendrils of Twilight in your deck, which help kill the creatures. Pretty simple card. It's uh, just a, you know, a dragon, good mobility, stuff like that. And Halazith, of course, a large source of finishing power in this deck. If Wigu doesn't get the job done and you don't draw it, you can always just, like, Crypt Conjurer them for 12. Or, I'm sorry, Halazith them for 12 with Crypt Conjurer out, and it, the damage racks up pretty quickly. So... I think that's done for talking about the deck. I think I'm going to leave the video here and uh, pick up with the next one in round one. So I'll see you all then.